Charlie. Hi, Kathy. Oh, Kathy. Kathy, am I glad to be here. Oh. These flowers are for you. Oh, for me? For what? For having a nice, quiet, peaceful house. Oh, for that, I get flowers. You do in my book. Oh, Kathy, you, you should hear what's happening in my place. Kathy, take my advice. Don't ever remodel. Don't... Yeah. Since 7 o'clock this morning, the carpenter, the painter, the decorator, they've been there banging and drilling and pounding. And then my mother-in-law, bossing everybody around. And, and the decorator is yelling at the painter, I told you I want eggshell. Why don't you give me eggshell? And the painter yells, I gave you eggshell. The decorator said, no, I meant white eggs, not brown. <laughs> there was so much noise, I tell you, I almost couldn't hear my mother-in-law. <laughs> Uh, Kathy, all I want to do is sit down and get the noise out of my ears. Well, Charlie, you just sit down and relax for a little while. How would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, bless you. You are a wonderful human being. Well, I'll get you one right away. Oh, bless you. You just relax for a while. Hi, Uncle Charlie. Hi, Russ. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> down there. If you're smart, you'll get down here, too. <laughs> too? What's the matter with you? Why? Why? We're being attacked. Come on. <laughs> get, just get up here. Boy, I, I'm glad you're here. I'm not. I'm not. You mean you're not. You're just in time to hear Rusty is going to give us a drum concert. Does he, does he have to? Yeah, he has to. He's got to practice. He's got to practice? Yeah. You mean uh, with the drums? He's yeah. gonna, he's gonna, uh, uh, with the sticks, uh, and then the cymbals, uh, and, uh, and the whole, the whole, the whole thing. Oh, no, no, what do I need? I, I didn't bother nobody. Get up this morning. Everything happened. Oh, Charlie. 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 They're remodeling at his place, and, and it's so noisy, and he came over here for some peace and quiet. Oh, well, what's more peaceful and quiet than nice, soothing music? <laughs> Uncle Charlie, I'm going to audition for the band at the YMCA. Yeah, he's auditioning today. He's going to, uh, well, look, Rusty, I tell you what, if you're going to audition today, maybe you shouldn't play the drums now. Save your energy. I mean, you don't want to go down there with poop drumsticks. Oh. <laughs> Put it on, baby. I'll put on the flip side first. The flip side will be fine. Good. It was very good. A lot of heart. I liked it. Wish you didn't have to run. I'd listen to more. Oh, it was real nice. I know you lost your place, but, but you did much better than you did the last time. You almost caught up. 
<laughs> okay, boys, let's try it again, huh? Uh, we... Mr. Norman? Yes, Roger? May I be excused for a minute, please? Well, well, just in a moment. We're gonna try it once more. The whole thing? Yes, the whole thing. Mr. Norman, I think I'll have to be excused right now. <laughs> okay, well, go ahead. Take five, fellas. We'll wait a little while. We'll take a break here. Oh, how do you do? May I help you? Yes, I'm Rusty Williams. I talked to you on the phone. Oh, how are you, Rusty? Fine. This is my father. Uh, Danny Williams. How are you, sir? Oh, the nightclub entertainer. Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Larry Norman. Oh, really? Are you uh, the, um, uh, the, the conductor? Yeah, the conductor, the basketball coach, the swimming instructor, the uh, counselor, the, uh, well, the substitute father, and what have you. <laughs> well, I came to talk to you about... Mr. My... Norman, I got my shoe off, but I can't get it back on. The knot's stuck. Well, let's see if we can unstuck it. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, I, I thought my son says that he could talk to you on the phone and that he'd uh, like to audition for the band. Yeah, well, we'd be very glad to have him. Sure. Well, fine. Hey, Mr. Norman. Yes, George. Uh, can I take the clarinet home with me tonight? Oh, is it your turn? No, it's Freddie's, but he's willing to swap nights with me. Monday night's the only night I can practice. Well, why is that? That's the only night my father goes out. <laughs> well, okay, George, you take it home and practice, but you really practice hard, and I want you to have a tired lip tomorrow. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Kids have to share the instruments? Well, all except Ronnie here. He has his own. Oh. His father supplied all the instruments. Oh, does he have a music shop? No, pawn shop. <laughs> He's been a big help to us, but uh, we still need quite a few more instruments. Well, maybe I can give you a little assist on that score. Why don't you stop by the Copa Club some afternoon? We have the band rehearsing almost every day. Fellas have a lot of extra instruments in the locker room. Maybe they'll loan you some. Really? Sure. Well, that'd be wonderful. Why, with some more trumpets and trombones and a few clarinets, well, I'd have enough instruments to equip the boys in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. This band in the St. Patrick's Day Parade? <laughs> well, sure. You got something against the Irish? <laughs> I realize they don't have uh, much of a professional sound yet, but they have enthusiasm. I want to tell you something, Mr. Norman. If this band plays in the St. Patrick's Day Parade, they'll need more than enthusiasm. They'll need combat helmets. <laughs> well, I know you're a very busy man, uh, Mr. Williams, and if your boy would like to audition, I think we ought to get on with it. Uh, well, what's his instrument? He plays the drums. and wait to hear him. The He's drums? really good, yeah. Hey, well, that's fine. We need an alternate drummer. Roger here works three days a week in the supermarket. Oh? Roger, this is Rusty. You want to let him play a tune with us? Okay, Rusty, sit right down. Okay, okay son. Show him right. what you can do now. All right, boys, from the top. Octa Libra Augusti. What did you just say? <laughs> Octa Libra Augusti. Octa Libra Augusti. So we're going to play. Oh, no, wait a minute. How do you expect the kid to show off with a tune like that? I mean, give him something that he can show his talent. Give him a little sample of what you can do, son. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, kid really goes, doesn't he? He goes all right. That's not the way we're going. <laughs> Understand. Well, you see, uh, my approach to music with these boys is quite basic. Yeah. Uh, I, I try to teach them the fundamentals. Uh, musically speaking, they must learn to walk before they try to run. Well, yeah, but if you got a kid that can run, well, let him go. He'll make the band sound good and put a lot of oomph in the oompahs. <laughs> no, no, that's not the way I want it, Mr. Williams. Oh. No, you see, we teach teamwork. Yeah. Whether it's on the basketball court or here in the band, we all pull together. That's nice. And Rusty will just have to play along with our group, the sure. way we play. Swell. Octelieber Augustine, boys, from the top. <laughs> You see, uh, this is a waltz. It's rum dum dum rum dum dum. You know, three quarter time. Okay, let's try it again. All right, boys, from the top. And. Hold it, boy. Hold it. Hold it. Just a minute. <laughs> he seems to be having a little trouble with his rhythm. What makes you say that? <laughs> Well, you see, he should be going rum dum dum rum dum dum, but he's going rum dum 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 rum rum dum dum. He's putting his dums where he should put his rums, and his rums where he should put his dums. <laughs> what's the difference? Where he puts his rums and where he puts his dums, as long as you get him in there. <laughs> well, you see, it makes a lot of difference to a musician. Now, I don't know who taught Rusty, but whoever did knew nothing about the fundamentals of music. Evidently, he was just someone who wanted to teach him a bunch of 
trashy and flashy work. Oh, by the way, who was his teacher? <laughs> Me. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry for the way I sounded, but... Well, you see, that just proves my point. Teaching music should be left to people associated with music. What do you think I'm associated with? Chicken plucking? <laughs> no, I realize that you use musicians when you sing, but that's different. You see, you're not one of them. Maybe I'm not one of them, but I know enough about music to know that Achtelieber Augustine dropped out of the top ten a long time ago. <laughs> Well, that may be true, but uh, you'll have to admit it's lasted a lot longer than you're nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Very clever ad lib. <laughs> and anyway, as long as I'm the director of the band, why, Rusty will have to play in the style that we set. Or not at all. Or not at all. Well, look, what makes you such uh, an authority on the subject? What are you, the Stravinsky or the sweatshirt set? <laughs> oh, I... What instrument do you play? Well, I, I prefer one of the brass instruments, uh, the trumpet. Oh, I'll bet you blow a mean cadenza. <laughs> I played a bit, and I... I'll bet. With some of the best bands, no doubt. Yes, yes, I could have. You could have? Uh -huh. Oh, really? Uh -huh. What bands? Uh, Harry James? Benny Goodman? Well, as a matter of fact, I did have an offer from Goodman. You had an offer? But you turned it down. Yes, I turned it down. How do you like that for a guess? <laughs> Look, Clyde, you can give this kind of jazz to these kids, but you can't feed that propaganda to me. I know a little bit better. Come on, Rusty. Let's get out of here. To... I'll get you to play with an orchestra. It sounds like an orchestra. I don't want to stay here. I like the way these guys sound. You like the way they sound? <laughs> yes, and I want to stay here. Okay, you can stay after we come back. Where are we going? Have your ears examined. <laughs> Only to fatigue, dear, from this moment on. From this happy day, no more blue songs. Only hoop de doo songs from this moment on. I've got the skin I love to touch. You got the charms I need so much. You got the arms to hold me tight. You got the sweet lips to kiss me tonight. From this moment on. like that, it'll be perfect right after the second line number. Charlie, I... <laughs> Why do you always cover your ears with it? Cut it out. I'm a chop. <laughs> Charles, as I was saying... <laughs> what's that? Cotton in your ears? <laughs> Look, I got work to do and I can't stand the noise. Yeah? Well, take your cotton picking ears and go into your office then. <laughs> here. Goodbye. Right. Take your work somewhere else. Captain, Get out of here. my club. I own the club. You might have a here. piece of cotton. I like the light here. Goodbye. Well, fellas, let's, uh, let's uh, take that Andy Burchard arrangement that we had. Wait, hold it, hold it. Hold it a second, fellas. Hi, Mr. Williams. <laughs> What'd you do? Stop by for a jam session? Well, no, you see, uh, you said something about loaning us some instruments and... Well, I know you were kind of mad at me and when you left, and, well, I didn't want you to take it out on the boys. I thought maybe I could pick up the instruments today. Uh, certainly, I... We won't let a little thing like hating each other penalize the boys. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I want the fellas to meet you guys. This is uh, a musician, a professional musician, works in a gymnasium. Larry Norman. Uh, Norman, Larry yeah. Norman, a real good musician. He I plays... Know, right, right, right. Plays the uh, a glockenspiel, is it? <laughs> the triangle, wasn't it? The trumpet. Oh, the trumpet. Frank, let me loan me your trumpet, Frank. Let me have that trumpet. Thank you very much. 
Yeah. I, I love I'm jamming it with the boys a little bit. No, I mean, I, they'd I, love to. Wouldn't you guys like to play with a bullet? Yeah. 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 Benny Goodman. I mean, he turned down Benny Goodman, believe it or not. You guys know Achtelieber Augustine? <laughs> That's his big number. He really is. Uh, hey, yeah, go ahead. No, go I on, I dare you. Look, I stopped taking dares when I grew up. I'll bet you did. Look, it wasn't easy for me to come down here today. I, I had a big argument with myself about it, and, well, the question was, do I let these kids suffer and struggle alone without their instruments, or do I swallow my pride and come here to you with my hat in my hands? Well, here I am. Look, guys, uh, some of you got some extra instruments in the lockers. You can spare them. This man can put them to good use. She's got a little band at the Y. You see what you can find? Any of them? Anybody that has? Go ahead. Whoever? Go ahead. Thank you. I'll wait over here to get through the rehearsal. Look, uh, Norman, pay no attention to me here. I, uh, I don't usually pick on people. I just got a little hot around the collar, that's all, because you, you criticized my son's drum playing. And that wouldn't have been too bad, except you criticized his teacher. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, you got a job to do, and you do it as you see fit. I just want to say I'm sorry. Are we friends? Friends. Friends, thank you. That's a... Oh, here. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. How about this? Oh, that's I'm wonderful. Fine. Gee, thank you very much. I appreciate it, boys. Thank you very much. It's real nice of you. Hey, the kids will really appreciate these. Fine. By the way, I, I, I'm sorry I embarrassed you in front of the band. Right? Oh, that's okay. That, that doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, after all, what's the difference if you can play trumpet or if you can't play trumpet? Huh? What's the difference? <laughs> Go ahead. Fine. I mean, some people were born to play in Carnegie Hall, and yeah. others were born to play at the Y, right? Leave a right in my Augustine. Come on. <laughs> Come on, give me a kick. What for? Because I said you didn't know how to play the trumpet. Oh, was I wrong? Go ahead, kick. Oh, I couldn't. I could. Never mind. <laughs> Larry, I just come over to apologize to you before I go in for my operation. Operation? Yeah, I'm having my foot removed from my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that we've buried the hatchet, any time Rusty would like to come back and play with our group, uh, the door's wide open. Well, Rusty will certainly come back to play with the group, but the new director can handle that. You won't have to worry about Rusty. Yeah, because, you see, I don't like the trumpeter. The star trumpeter at the Copa Lounge doing anything else. He's got to be exclusive. That's right. Did you hear what he said? The Copa Lounge, buddy. You mean you're offering me a job in the yes, Copa? Right. Yep. The Copa Lounge. Oh. Yes, sir, with your own swinging combo. We uh, want your signature on the bottom after you read the figures on the top. Sign right there. And if you don't like those figures, we can always make them 
A little bigger. We can... Uh, Danny, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> I know this is the YMCA, but let's not carry brotherhood too far. <laughs> well, the offer is very flattering, but... Yeah. What are you talking about? Anybody who blows a horn like you deserves it. And that's not all. This is just the beginning. I call my agent, Phil Brokaw. He says he can get you the Flamingo Lounge and the Chapery in Chicago. How about that for starters? Yo, well, wait a minute. You gotta play for me first. That's right, that's right. You owe it to Charlie. You gotta play it for him first. Oh, I don't know. I... What do you mean you don't know? You gotta play for me first. You owe it. I mean, after all, there is such a thing as loyalty among old friends, and that's right. we've been lifelong friends since yesterday. <laughs> no, no, look, it isn't a question of whether I play for you first. It's more of a question of whether I play at all. What? Well, you see, I have a job right here. Here? You're comparing yeah. this job with the Y, with the Copa? Well, he's offering you five times as much as you're getting here just to start. That's fine. Oh, look, if you fellas want a band in your club, uh, and if I can't take the job, you can get another trumpet player, can't you? Well, sure, but what's that got to do with it? Well, don't you see, it's easy for you to get another trumpet player, right? Yeah. But it's not easy for the YMCA to get another fellow to take my job. Now, look, Larry, this is a career for you. This is important. So is the work I'm doing here important. And so are the boys that I look after. Wait a minute, you mean, you mean you'd rather work here than at the Copa? But I'm willing to pay you enough to start your own Y. Or an X, or a Z. <laughs> Pick any letter, any... <laughs> Don't you know that a man can be paid with other things besides money for a job he does? Do you think there's a price tag on the satisfaction you get from knowing that you're keeping some of these kids off the street and out of trouble? Yeah, but you're not being practical. Practical? Do you think it's practical to avoid the responsibility to the next generation? Is it practical to let them grow up without guidance and without help? Oh, I'm a very practical man doing a very practical job, molding good citizens. <laughs> you know, I remember when I was a kid, one afternoon I passed by the YMCA and I heard a band playing. Octa Libra Augustine. <laughs> yeah. Octa Libra Augustine. Well, you know, I went inside, and the director of the band, he invited me to sit in, and he gave me a horn. And from then on, instead of being out on the street breaking windows, I was playing in the band. And that kind of started a three-way love affair between me and the trumpet and the Y. That man kind of helped me to find myself. And any time I can help some kid to find himself, well, I kind of feel like I'm paying back a debt. I don't want to get on the soapbox, and I really do appreciate your offer, but I can't accept it. Of course you can. We understand. We sure do. Thanks. Well, if you change your mind, there's always a job at the Copa. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Yeah, and so you shouldn't be insulted. I'll pay you even less than you're making here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the sacrifice. <laughs> great, Rusty, but you must remember that this music is for personal kicks only. Now shall we try it the way we're going to do it at the Y? <laughs> you, uh, you mean from the top? 